Well, there's two types. One is the EVs from our existing manufacturers, traditional manufacturers like BMW. BMW got EVs coming out, i4, iX, i7. Volvo has the, uh, what is it, SC4, IC40. Uh, Hyundai got the, the Kona, the Arnic. So everybody has got their own suite. So it's already there. So we're already doing a lot of EVs. And the second part is the new EV players like BYD we're coming into Malaysia. All right. Uh, in China, we are working with some of the local players. Uh, uh, yeah. Neo. Lyoto, Neo, Polestar. All right. So we are already becoming the dealer in China selling. selling uh, and some are not selling because they like to do direct, sell direct, but are a service dealer. We are already the dealer for Tesla, servicing dealer. Right, so when really? yeah, in some parts of China, but still smaller. They like to spread it out. They don't want, you know. So, so we already have. We're always looking out, you know. In China, we are working with many, many guys. More, uh, more opportunities. Whatever you know, whatever opportunity we, we can get, we will take. Mm. But I mean, the biggest mm. thing was the last release. Now the BYD is a big deal for us, mm. Because we are distributor. That's where we we're going to create the market in Malaysia. We got a target of selling. Uh, well, I can't tell you the target, <laughs> but we got a target to to sell for BYD. We have uh, we're already doing BMW there, right? We're already doing Porsche there. We're doing Hyundai there. We're doing BMW engine there. Also a big deal. Huh? This is the only plant outside Germany yeah, for engines, so they trust us. So we're building the engines here and sending to Thailand and places, right? So it's a very nice facility. Now, uh, if you ask me whether um, we will do EV assembly, we'd like to. Uh, of course, with the government incentives, it will deliver, you know, the, the longer the government has its incentive, the slow it will be for EV manufacturers to make in Malaysia. Lah. You know? Okay. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Because of the incentive, you don't have to assemble in Malaysia, lah. you just bring it overseas. Okay. It's competitive. If one incentive goes, then it makes sense to assemble in Malaysia, and that's where we come in. So we're starting to talk to players already. Because they see this thing one year, maybe they extend it, who knows, right? So they're starting to plan for a uh, future assembly operation in Malaysia. Mm. Part of it is, you know, China drives a lot of the Asia-Pacific growth. Um, you know, so you can see where we are playing with the Asia-Pacific it's going to become a more and more important part of the world economy. By, by 2050, we think it's 50% of the GDP is from this area, from our area, uh, and it's growing. So there's a lot of opportunities for us. We've been in China since 1962. Yeah. Simple old Saim Dhabi, we've been there in, since 1962. Um, so it's a long, long time we, we have here. And we have a few thousand people in China, our staff, about five, 6,000 people. Uh, Saim Dhabi, yeah. It's big, you know. We are probably the biggest Malaysian investor. We keep quiet, lah. We don't need to take, make talk so much, right? But we are uh, one of the biggest Malaysian investors in, in China. Um, as, as I say, it's, we started very small, you know, the motor business, and then we have the caterpillar business, the port business, um, and it's, it's, it's grown and grown and grown and grown. Okay. I, li I like China. I was there for seven years, I think, China. I know this. Uh, People complain about the sort of the slowdown, and the, the, they have the Chinese Communist Party Congress this week. You know, I, they were all they are organised there, like they, they will sort themselves out, and then things will come back very fast. China, the China is, is no brainer, like is it maybe a short term, one one year, whatever. Long term, it'll be fine. It'll be very very strong. Yeah, you know we BMW is our big one, but we represent thirty brands. Like even in Malaysia, you can see our uh, Masara, the other thing we have. BMW, Hyundai, Ford, Porsche, Volvo, and Jaguar Land Rover. You know, and then in other places we have Kia. Ah, we have Mini, of course. We have um, Rolls Royce, Lamborghini, all sorts. So we, we represent 30 brands. A lot of Chinese brands also that we're representing, particularly the new EVs from China. What about mining, right? As I said, half our business is motor car, half is industrial caterpillar, right? Now, out of that, more than half is related to mining, lah. Okay, uh, and most a lot of that is coal mining. Uh, um, and I think in the future, with all the electric car, EV, and all that, demand for commodities will be very strong, lah. Copper, lithium, uh, copper, lithium. What else, lah? Uh, all sorts of these minerals, lah. And they all mine in Australia. So there's opportunities for us, right? Uh, 